What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here and I hope you guys are doing great. So today I wanted to make a late November state of the grow. It's getting very cold. It is currently snowing outside. So uh, yeah, this is, you know, quite an interesting fall season, I must say. Uh, so, okay, so there's a lot of things I want to talk about. First of all, look at these truffles. Okay, this is MS1. This is from a cloned fruit from a very nice cluster. And as you can see, these guys are very, very strong truffle producers. Okay, and now look, this guy, this is what happened when I spawned it to bulk. It's the same from the same plate, right? It's just full of truffles just poking out and ripping the substrate apart, which is what I like to see. But you know, to be honest, okay, so these guys put out six fruits, literally six fruits. And those fruits looked beautiful, you know, not spaghetti-like at all. Their caps properly opened up just the way I like it. Stems not too long, which is often a problem with this species because they require a lot more FAE than core lovers. But the thing is, like, I thought those six fruits were like the start of like the flush, you know, the early birds. But then now there's like nothing popping up. I harvested the last of it yesterday night and there's nothing coming up since. So it just sort of stopped fruiting, but it keeps producing truffles and... I wonder why, because in the when I was doing the cakes with this guy, they were they were producing tons of fruits, right? And I think I think it might be because the casing layer on this, I laid it very, very thin. You can't even really call it a quarter inch casing layer. So I think that's what affected it. So uh, I may put some more casing on here. But you know, it could also just be genetics because I didn't expect this guy to be producing so many fruits. I mean, this is really incredible, the amount of fruits that you see here, so. And as you can see, it's also shown here. And again, this is from a fruit clone, right? It's not from a truffle clone. So, you know, it's not a very good indicator just because you have a nice truffle doesn't mean it's gonna always produce truffles or anything like that. Uh, a lot of this stuff is environmental. So, and this guy is from a plate that I thought would be a good truffle producer just because it was a very yellow plate, very orangish colored. This is another one from the same plate. As you can see though, this one seems to be a little more well-developed Look at the bottom guys, that's a lot of truffles there. So yeah, I can't really say that. I have a feeling that this may be slightly bacterial just because of how undeveloped some of the truffles seem. Okay, this one's a pretty big one. <laughs> Maybe it's just using a lot of energy on that. And over here we have the uh, poo lovers section here. You know, the poo lovers are chilling up here and there's also this guy here. If you guys remember the poo, not the poo and chill series, the spawn and chill series <laughs> um, that I posted uh, yesterday morning. So it's been two days since I uh, spawned these guys. And as you can see, the, the colonization is going very, very fast, very, very well, just the way I like it, guys. Oh, and by the way, congratulations to those of you, those of you on Discord who won the uh, Grass Lover giveaway. So the three of you guys, you know, I'll be sending out the, uh, the stuff tomorrow. So hope you guys are excited for that. Yeah, so they're going well. These guys are also poo lovers. Um, I'm gonna pasteurize some poo. And well, here's the plan, guys. Here's what I decided to do. I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna um, make two shoe boxes out of him because these guys don't need much spawn. And I'm gonna do a basically a one to four ratio uh, of spawn. So I'm gonna use 50% of this because even for a monotub, like a full monotub, currently, you know, if, if you guys follow the uh, the monotub thread for uh, poo lovers on the Esmeri, uh, by Baba Yaga, he he fruits it in monotubs, and he has a he's working on a tech right now, but uh, he uses just one quart for for a whole monotub, right? So one quart for a shoebox is quite a bit, and it's completely unnecessary. So I'm just going to use half and see how it goes. And also here are the traditional poo cakes that I made, right? These guys are very old; they're colonizing very slowly, you know, from a syringe. Um, liquid inoculant syringe. So basically two of these guys are now fully colonized. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be casing these guys. So yesterday night I uh, pasteurized a small tiny little cute batch of casing. <laughs> okay it's not in a big jar it's just a little bit just for this purpose and also I'm thinking about filling in some of the uh, See where the truffles are poking out? I'm thinking about casing some of the truffles because truffles are some of the best places for fruits to develop. And by the way, if, uh, for those of you guys who may be wondering, you see all this yellow liquid there? Yeah, coming from the truffle. That's completely normal, guys. That is metabolites. That's what truffles do. They produce tons of metabolites. And that's one of the ways, for example, on an agar plate, you have these guys. If you have a bunch of like these little yellow dots, yellow... Uh, basically metabolites, then that means that that thing below there is a truffle. So 
Yeah, look at that. That's a lot of metabolites. Now, if you were talking about coral lovers, that's a crap ton. I understand, but this is completely normal for grass lovers. So just so you guys know. And also, of course, we have some of these steel mags colonizing in the background. I shook one of the jars. Uh, this one I didn't shake yet. But man, you know, like I've been messing around with other species for so long now that like going back to core lovers, it takes forever for this mycelium comparatively. You know, I forgot how, how much slower it is. So yeah, this is the guy that I shook. And as you can see, it's starting to colonize nicely. Um, so yeah, this was last night I shook it. So pretty good recovery rate, I must say. And my plan is with, the, with these guys, I'm going to be grain to graining uh, inside my sap into maybe uh, four more jars. And that way I could spawn it to a mini mono. And yeah, this is a starry night, starry night that I got from somebody. And yeah, finally I put it to grain and hopefully we could have some fruits. Um, yeah, and maybe, I don't know, I might uh, do a giveaway eventually, or I might do a grow along for the Patreon followers. Oh, speaking about Patreon, I made the banner, I made the description. Now all I need to do is make the tiers, and here's the plan, guys. So first things first, the tiers, I'm gonna start off just very slowly. I'm gonna do like a 250 tier, uh, just to show, show a little support, and then a $5 tier. I'm thinking just to show the support for now, but then the $5 tier, you're gonna be getting um, the fruiting videos one week earlier than, than everybody else. So uh, just to give you guys a little uh, benefit to uh, doing that, just as a thank you to those who choose to contrib contribute a little more. And then eventually I'm gonna be doing some grow alongs. I'm gonna be giving, you know, so the grow along uh, package that I'm thinking right now is that I'm gonna send everybody out genetics. You know, obviously it's covered in the Patreon cost. And then we're gonna have a private Discord channel for the Patreons who are a member of the Grow Along tier, and then we could all grow along. And I'm planning on having two Grow Along tiers, one for core lovers and one for everything else, right? So maybe if you're a beginner, you might wanna go for the core lovers, get some cool genetics, grow along with me, ask questions, I'll answer them. And B, uh, for those who wanna do something a little more advanced, a little more uh, exotic, then I'm gonna have a tier for that and we're gonna be doing that as well. So I'm thinking every two months, we're gonna have like a new grow along thing. And I'm also going to include like a lesson tier. So maybe um, uh, maybe like a lesson is included in, in that tier and along with all the other stuff, you know, a lot of things. Uh, there's some other stuff I was thinking about that I can't recall right now. But anyways, guys, it is coming together. Just need to make the tiers. As I said, I'm gonna start slowly. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, and yeah, that's about all I wanted to say in this video, lots of stuff happening, guys. And then I'm gonna use the one of the other jars, the pool lovers, and I'm, I think I'm gonna do this again, just to lay all my eggs in all sorts of baskets. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Microfile Sage.